Hello everyone, Rochelle here, and I'm back to share with you all some yarn stuff. Okay, so let's get started. I have a few finished projects, and then I'll share some whips and some shop updates and other stuff later on. So, my works in progress. Actually, let's start with finished projects. I have some dishcloths, and this is one of them. And I may have shown you all these in the last video. I can't remember. Um, but this is a Hobby Lobby yarn. And I will put the colorway names um, somewhere either here or here. But I really like it. It's a pattern by Very Pink Knits. The colors are so pretty. And I'm pretty sure I've shown you all this one before. This was like the first one I did. And as you can see, it's smaller. I went from doing like um, 50 stitches and then a decrease. And now I have moved it up to 60 stitches and a decrease because I found that I want a wider um, washcloth. And then I have this one. And all of these are Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. I love the colors. So I'm really enjoying making these. And I find that I'm making them bigger and bigger each time. Um, I like the size of this one. But I want to make them a little bit bigger. And I'll show you all that in um, my works in progress section. Now I do have one more finished project. Um, my friend Tiffany, she had a baby shower yesterday and uh, so of course I don't have the, the object with me now but I did record um, a short video clip of me showing you all the, um, the gift that I made. It was um, a, like a newborn baby set. It was a hat and a sweater. So here is the clip of me showing you all my finished project with the sweater and the hat. Alright folks, so here is my finished project. Uh, we have a sweater and a hat combination for a newborn child. Um, of course, they can be modified for a preemie or, you know, three, six months and on up. So I'm going to start with the sweater and it's actually um, a little jacket. I added buttons and it is by Bev's Country Cottage and it is a free pattern on Ravelry and um, I will put the link in the description box below. But yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. It's mainly double crochet. The yarn that I used was I love this yarn by Hobby Lobby and the color of it is or the colorway name is blue green multi and it's five ounces 142 grams 252 yards 230 meters and it is a hundred percent acrylic y'all Hobby Lobby has some of the softest acrylic yarn it's it's absolutely wonderful Okay, so this is the sweater. And also I added buttons. I got these buttons on clearance from Hobby Lobby, which is awesome. Like all four of them, I think it was like 75 cents. Um, yeah, so with this sweater, I used an H hook, which is a five millimeter hook. And of course I will have my favorite bamboo hooks but it's uh, absolutely wonderful it feels good on the hand but I used the five millimeter hook for the sweater and so yeah um, the sweater can what I like about the sweater is with the sleeves you can roll it up or you can wear it as is so I'm just gonna roll it up so that's how it looks rolled up and I think as the baby grows you know, you can uh, undo the sleeves, or if you just want to change up the style, you can do that. And here is the back. 
the back. And I love how this colorway worked up. And of course with the buttons, you can undo the buttons and they go all the way down like so. Okay, so let's move on to the hat. So this is a cute little hat, absolutely adorable. And this hat is also a free pattern on Ravelry. And I want to, I hope I'm saying this right, but it is the double crochet hat by Ombakwa Designs. And I will put a link in the description box below for this as well. And it is all double crochet. Very, very simple project. Um, you can make this whole set in a day um, or just like two afternoons. And I was able to use only one skein to make both, both the hat and the um, scarf, both the hat and the sweater. And I had this much yarn left. So yeah, and this yarn was only five ounces, 250 yards. And so with this, you can make this whole little set. And for the hat, I used an eye, which is a 5.5 millimeter hook so yeah that's my little set um i can't wait for my friend to see it i'm actually off to the baby shower now i know uh her and her hubby they're gonna love it and so uh yeah that's my sweater and hat combination for a little newborn baby okay so you all just saw um the sweater and the hat it was a joy to make i hope tiffany really likes it um so congratulations to them um i'm really really excited about them they are a really really good family so really really excited about that and the yarn um the the i love this yarn by hobby lobby it is so soft if you all are looking for um a good soft acrylic yarn that is good quality and comes in a lot of different colors try hobby lobby their yarn is really really good and has a really nice selection and i don't know about how you all's hobby lobby is but mine is always like fully stocked so those are my finished projects and now i'm going to move on to works in progress now i only have one that i'm working on currently um, and it is another dishcloth and here it is and I am also using um, Hobby Lobby I love this cotton for this one and I have the ball band somewhere but I do believe this one is called denim here are the colors very very nice um i really really like it and i'm using my child goo needles for these uh, size seven which is a 4.5 millimeter and these are 24 inch cables here's the yarn the colors are really pretty really really like these and so yeah I am enjoying making these washcloths I really really am now I do want to try crocheting some um, dishcloths uh, yeah these are my washcloths but I would like to try to crochet some dishcloths but I need to find a good crochet pattern where the stitches are really tight and it doesn't have a lot of holes in it so maybe like um maybe like a single crochet or a half double crochet type of uh, washcloth would be nice just something that doesn't have a lot of holes and it would be great but yeah so this is what I'm working on and I think I might go up to I'm at 60 stitches right now on this one um, but I may actually go up to 65 or 70 stitches before I start doing the decrease because I, I like really really big washcloths and I'm actually making this one for my husband so yeah all right so 
those are well that's my only uh work in progress and um i think it's great when you can do more than one hobby you don't just have to be a crocheter you don't just have to be a knitter you know you can be both and enjoy it and so that's something that i have really really come to love now I've also enjoyed dyeing yarn. That's been like my thing. It's been really, really fun and exciting and I love coming up with new colors and new colorways. And I actually have in my shop, I have um, new bases and I have all new colorways. So now I'm going to go over some of the things that I have in my shop. Um, I still have sock yarn, sport, and uh, I have a few minis left um, in the shop. Let's see. I have some DK and worsted weight that's still in the shop from the last update. But this week I have introduced all new colorways, all new bases. So I want to share those with you all. All right. So I'm going to start by uh, showing you all the Glamorous Life DK that I have. It is a sparkle yarn. And you all know that I like to name all of my bases based on prints um, or something, yeah, something prints related. And Glamorous Life is a song that was sung by Sheila E., who's an amazing drummer. Um, but the song was written by Prince. And so Glamorous Life, Sparkles, it just goes together. So the first one I want to show you all is called Sea Glass. And for my uh, Glamorous Life DK, they are 75% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, 5% Silver Stellina. So it's a 75, 20, uh, 5. And it's 231 yards, which is 100 grams. And here it is up close. And it has like um, blue and dark blue streaks in it. Just kind of reminded me of the ocean a little bit. There it is. And that is sea glass. And all of these are now in my Etsy shop. We also have Rapunzel. And these are all sparkles, Stellina base. And it's got some purples, burgundy, and yellow in it. Really pretty color. I also have Ribbit. Kind of reminds me of a frog, but it has dark green and light green colors in it. And I have Party Princess. Love this one. It uh, has purples and pinks and um, dark pinks. Almost looks like red, but it's a dark pink. And this is Party Princess. So yeah, lots of pretty sparkles. I hope you all can see the sparkles. And lastly, but not least, I have Tangerine. This is a really gorgeous, vibrant orange with sparkles. I really like how that turned out. So those are all of my all of my sparkles. Okay, so I'm gonna now move on to my next base, which is Party Man Tweed. And you're wondering, party man, how is that prince related? Well, 
Uh, back in 1989, um, Prince did the soundtrack for uh, Batman and uh, he contributed this song to Batman and um, in this particular music video, it's really, really cool, Prince plays the Joker. And I thought that the whole hair and makeup and costume was really cool. He had like the purple and the orange suit on. It was really, really cool. But yeah, so that's where I got Party Man from. It is a song from the 1989 Batman movie. And so I have five different colors. The first one is Old Red. And it has tweed in it. The next color is Kiwi. You all can definitely see why I named this Kiwi. It's like the green with the little black seeds in it. But this is Kiwi. I also have Royalty. This is a beautiful light bright purple tweed. And then I have October. And I named this one October because it kind of reminds me of the color sapphire, um, which is the birthstone for the month of October. And I think that the tweed, the little neps, show up so well with this blue. I mean, it really makes them pop. That is so pretty to me. All right, and last but not least, I love the name of this one. This one is called Sweatpants. It definitely reminded me of Sweatpants when I saw it. All right, so those are all of my my tweeds. I love these. I love these a lot. I like using um, yarn with little tweed nips in it. I think it's really, really cool. And it makes a really nice texture. All right, so the next colorway or the next base that I have is called Batman Bulky. And Batman, um, well, yeah. No, I'm sorry, it's called Bat Dance Bulky. Yeah, Bat Dance Bulky. Bat Dance was another song that Prince had on the 1989 Batman album. And what's cool about this music video is he's painted half Joker and half Batman. So it's really cool. He's got like black on one side and then he's got like the, the Joker colors on the other side. It's really, really cool. And I think it would have been cool if uh, Prince was an actual actual Joker in a Batman movie that would have been awesome but anyway I have three colors in the Bat Dance super bulky and my super bulky base is a single um, and it is 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon and let me just backtrack for a second the um, tweed is 85% superwash merino and 15% nep now, going back to the Bat Dance Super Bulky single, it is 80% Superwash Merino and 20% Nylon. It is 76 yards, which is 100 grams. Here it is, and the color of this one is called Aqua Marine. It definitely reminds you of the sea. And the next one is Party Princess. And you all may be wondering, like, we've heard this one before. 
Well, that's because Party Princess is available on Super Bulky and Glamorous Life. So it's whatever you prefer. And it's amazing to me how the same colors can um, dye up on different bases. I think that's really cool. Okay, so these are my Bat Dance Super Bulkies. Alright, so the next base I want to share with you all is one that you're already familiar with. Um, it's just I have all new colors of it. But it is the Pop Life Fingering Weight Yarn that I have. And just to kind of remind you all about the Pop Life song, um, it is from his 1985 Around the World in a Day album. So yeah, that's where the song Pop Life comes from. And now I'm going to have it stuck in my head for the rest of the day. But um, I have seven new colors in the Pop Life fingering. Okay, so let's start off with Autumn. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that all of the Pop Life fingerings that I'm going to be offering in this shop update are one of a kind. Um, I was just having a little fun dyeing these and mixing them up and over dyeing yarn and uh, these are what I came up with. But this is called Autumn. The colors are really beautiful. Definitely reminds you of the fall, especially with the leaves turning and everything. The next one is Strawberry Creamsicle. And this is kind of a mix of a, a red and the bear yarn. It's really pretty. Kind of like a dark pinkish red. And the next one is Pinky Swear. And I actually think the pink is showing up really well in the viewfinder. But it is, it has like um like orange in it, like a dark orange, but it has pink undertones. And if you look really closely, you can actually see some of the pink. You can see some of the pink in there. And so I call it this because I pinky swear there is pink in this. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. So that is pinky swear. Then I have mesmerize. Because it just, the colors, the purple, it's just, it's mesmerizing. Of course, purple is my favorite color, so I'm a little biased. Then we have Carnation. Now, this one is a one-of-a-kind colorway, but I'm going to try to see if I can't recreate it because I really like how this came out. It's a really, really, really bright pink. very bright and then the next one is called potpourri I definitely remember potpourri from when I was a child uh, you know your folks would put it in like a little basket <laughs> the little potpourri chips and this is another one that was over dyed really pretty and when I say over dyed it is a, um, a dyeing 
technique and um, basically I had dyed this yarn and I wasn't it was pretty but I wasn't particularly happy with the way it came out so I put it back in the dye pot and dyed it with another color so that's why it's called over dyeing and lastly with the um, pot life fingering I have burnt orange and I call it burnt orange because of the the dark orange spots in the yarn see those dark orange spots well, there's one there but that is why I call it burnt orange the last one that I want to share with you all is one that I'm really excited about and it is a BFL um, base yarn which is which stands for blue face luster it's a british wool uh it's so durable and strong and it's it's great i really like working with it and the name of this base is called manic monday bfl um and of course you all may be thinking wait manic monday that was a song that's by the Bengals." Well, yes, it is sung by the Bengals. However, it was written by Prince and he put it on their 1986, um, oh, what was the name of that album? What was the name of that album? It was called Different Light. Yeah, 1986 album called Different Light. It was by the Bengals. The Bengals, excuse me. But yeah, um, the Bengals is a football team. <laughs> But the name of this group was called The Bangles, and it's from their 1986 Different Light album. And one really cool little fun fact about that album is, um, or about that song is, is that Prince originally had written that song for Apollonia 6 in, um, in, their, in 1990 or 1984. However, he decided not to give it to Apollonia 6. And he decided to um, wait two years later and he wrote the song for the Bengals. But one really cool fact about that particular song is that Prince used a pseudonym when I guess that's how he put it on uh, the Bengals album or, or whenever he um, released a song to him, he used a pseudonym and that name was Christopher. Well, Christopher was the name of the character that he played in the movie Under the Cherry Moon. Now, don't act like y'all hadn't watched Under the Cherry Moon. <laughs> that black and white movie uh, where Prince had that crazy accent and yeah, hilarious. Um, now I really want to go watch Under the Cherry Moon. But anyway, so that is where Manic Monday BFL came from. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the um, Party Man Tweed and the um, Bat Dance, yeah, Party Man Tweed is a DK base. I hope I mentioned that earlier. Um, but this one is also a DK base as well. So the first one I'm going to show you all is Aquamarine. And yes, you all did just see that because I also have it on Bulky. But this is Aquamarine on BFL. And I have it on denim. And Manic Monday BFL DK is 246 yards, 100 grams. And it is 100% super washed blue face luster. And then we have Minty Fresh. I really like this color. I would love to have a cowl in this color. Yeah, really, really pretty. And the last one that I have. I have a whole lot of yarn around me, y'all. I'm just trying to make sure I, it doesn't fall. But the last one that I have is...
so that is all of my yarn and my whips and my finished projects um yeah so i hope that you all really really enjoyed this video um i really really appreciate it now i'm going to do my 2000 subscriber um video in a completely different video and that will be released this week sometime um this one will probably go out today if not tomorrow um which will be monday tomorrow will be monday but yeah it will go out either today or tomorrow and then my 2000 subscriber video will go out later in the week because i would like for that to be a separate video but anyway so thank you all for watching um you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, where else? Ravelry, Google Plus, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know where I'm at. Um, so until next time, bye.